We have arrived in Kununurra and on our way to Lake Argo now, which is Western Australia's largest and Australia's second largest freshwater man-made reservoir, covering an area of over 1,000 square kilometres. The lake's catchment area covers over 50,000 square kilometres and to put it in perspective, the size of Switzerland is only 41,000 square kilometres. So it's huge and definitely worth having a look at when you're up here. The dam was originally built in 1971 to assure a steady water supply for the Ord River Irrigation Scheme. The local caravan park was built right on the lake and its infinity swimming pool is well known tourist attraction. You can explore the lake in style by helicopter or rent a kayak for a much more hands on approach. As always if you like our channel give us the big thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell so you can stay up to date with what we get up to as we travel a world full of adventures. The lake area is so vast that even with a drone it was hard to see the end of it. I would have loved to explore this place further with a boat but unfortunately there is no boat hire available here. There are multiple forward drive tracks leading to viewpoints or fishing spots in the area. None of them are unfortunately signposted so exploring is the way to go. Car maintenance. Got to do it when you're forward driving. Got to check your vehicle every once in a while, make sure it's all running smooth. But to be honest, I'd be rather out there catching fish now. Our mission today is to catch a barra before we leave WA and head to the NT, Northern Territory. Uh, we're camped up here at Kimberley Land at the moment, which is a caravan park in Kununurra. Very beautiful spot and as you can see again we scored a superb campsite with awesome views. That down here is uh, Lake Kananara, not far from here is Lake Algo. So, mission today, catch that barra. And I found the spot that um, is known by the locals as Bottom Crossing. Uh, apparently this is a good campsite and there is good barra in that river there. The river is called the Ord River or the Lower Ord. Um, unfortunately not only barra lives in that river but this time we're encountering saltwater crocodiles as well. So that area is a bit more dangerous than uh, the Upper Ord which is mainly freshwater crocodiles. Lower Ord, saltwater crockies not so healthy those ones so we've got to be a bit cautious with what we're doing and before we get to that site we've got to cross one of WA's most treacherous water crossings the Ivanhoe Crossing This is Bottom Crossing on the Ord River, a free camp area only a few kilometres out of Kununurra. The sites are all along the sandbank on the right and accessible to all rig sizes and a pleasant place to stay and set up for a while as well. Alright we found a little camp next to the river. There's a few people around here but still not a bad spot. We're right, right up against the waterline. Uh, saltwater crocs go of it. Fast flowing water, I'm not too worried about it actually. 
So a bit of shady, not a bad spot. A bit of a mission to get the camper in the right angle as always, but it is what it is. Right, so that's our little campsite found, right on the Water River. Jenny's getting ready with the camper. Well done, Jenny. Alright, so I've come to this little spot which is not too far from our campground and I'm going to try to um, cast a lure over here and my first attempt yesterday uh, failed, obviously. Um, we were close to our camp but the water is, is running really fast over there so I'm not sure if that's a good spot to catch barrow there. This is a bit more calm here, I can see a few snags out, uh, out on the water so just going to try to cast a few lures, see how I go and then uh, if this doesn't produce I move on to a more remote spot. Jenny's keeping an eye on the crocs. <laughs> That one didn't work, at least I didn't get any results. Now I'm going to try this one here, this uh, stuff of plastic here. Uh, looks pretty good, hopefully it works. Tried for a bit over here, but I don't seem to have any success, so we'll just try another spot. So, here we go there. Okay, my lure adventures uh, have resulted in absolutely zero. We took a cruise up and down the river here to find some good spots, but there wasn't really anything that I would see suitable for fishing. There's a lot of seaweed on the bank, so every time I cast a lure, I retrieve it, it's full of seaweed. So, it wasn't really that great. Um, instead, we found some good mullet, um, and we're gonna try to uh, cast some live bait out here just from the camp and see how we go. It is unfortunate we don't have a tinny anymore. If we would have, it'd be bloody gold, man. You can cruise up and down that river, be heaps of spots there, heaps of snags on the sounder. But unfortunately we haven't let a tinny go. Time to get a new one, I'd say. Um, yeah, let's see how we go with the life baits. Now all I can really do Sit here and wait for the fish to bite. We gave fishing a little bit of a break and we're going somewhere special. Somewhere not too far from our camp. Oh, if you're wondering why we're whispering, it's because we're going to a secret place. Secret Springs. Secret Springs. It is a bit of a mission to get here, but I hope it's worth it. Yeah. It's a fair bit of four wheel driving. Yeah. And I hope no one sees us. <laughs> oh, so it's a bit, bit, bit of a bumpy ride, <laughs> bumpy ride. Nah, joke aside, so we're, we're checking out this place called Secret Springs, uh, <laughs> which is not too far from our campsite. Uh, we had a look at a couple of other popular uh, spots like Black, Black Rock Falls, yep. I think they're called, and, and middle. Uh, middle Springs, but none of them had any water in there. They have, but just little. Yeah, there's no yeah. water flowing. They have water in there. Sorry, Jenny. Yeah, yeah they have 
Dublin. <laughs> it was uh, probably, it will, it will probably be a good spot to go to in the wet season or just after the wet season. Yeah. Uh, but especially Black Rock Falls, it's a huge drop there. Mm. Um, a huge waterfall if it's flying. If it's not flying, yeah. Just a rock. Just a rock and a puddle. Yeah. Not so good. Mm. Anyway, awesome news for you. We uh, weren't that lucky with fishing, obviously. Uh, otherwise, I would have shown you some pictures of that barramundi. So, a lot of it had to do with we could not find a good spot off on the river. It was all too weedy, fast flowing, anyway. So, it wasn't that great. We made a decision to rent a tinny tomorrow. Mm. Oh, 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 Big drop. Oh. Are you going to turn, ladies? <laughs> All right. Well, well, well. well, we're just going to a bit of a puddle. Yeah. Oh, it's soft now. That's a deep water crossing here. Yeah. Anyway, so back to the point. Okay. So we rented a tinny. 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 We rented a tinny. Um, Fortunately, we had to sell our tinny, long story, but anyway, yeah. um, so we got no boat, but now we got a boat. We rented one on Lake Kananara. Bit restricted of where we go with the boat, um, but hopefully that will get us onto the spot where the barrows are. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's part of that, yeah. yeah. So that's the mission. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll uh, try with the tinny. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they released what over five million barras over the couple of last couple of years or something one million one million barras over the yeah. last couple of years yeah and and then for the barra if you if they go bigger than ooh, ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. if they go one. bigger than 80 centimeter we cannot get them oh, oh. broken the need <laughs> because that one they can turn to be a female and breeding. Beautiful drive going through this uh, springs. I really recommend going here and checking it out. There are a lot of water crossings though, so make sure you guys got a snorkel or a decent four wheel drive. Mm. But driving through these pandanas, almost pandanas forests here, a lot of it is gum trees, pandanas, boabs. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Green, sort of. And another water crossing. This time. Be careful, crocodile. Beautiful. <laughs> Is it a rock slippery? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Fresh. Tickle. <laughs> Too tickle on my feet. Check this out, we just uh, climbed up the waterfall here at uh, Secret Springs and it's beautiful. There's a little infinity pool down here and then it goes all the way up there and there's heaps of um, little pools so let's go and suss it out.
Watch what happens when Jen sees the dirty water. She doesn't like it. You know, one part of me, I don't like this black water. Yeah. 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 Wow. Always pays off to just go the little extra mile and see what's behind the next bend. Full guys. How good is that? <laughs> Who would have thought that a track not sign marked at all through all these creeks, through all these rocks would produce something like this? This is probably one of the most stunning waterfalls that I've seen. I mean this is this beats almost El Questro here. Hey Jenny. This almost beats El Questro. Yeah. Talking about a secret uh, spring, man. This definitely is a little secret because if people would know about this a bit more, it'll be chocolate bar. So nice. All right, so we're going to go pull after pool. So we've done the waterfall up top first. Uh, we've done the infinity pool. Now we go, what's the other place down there? We'll go to another little water hole. This is the bottom pool here. This is where it all starts, and uh, the car park's literally over there. So it's not a, uh, it's not a huge walk. Maybe 50 meters to get to here. And you got this beautiful swim area, and uh, I don't know if you can see the rope. That's how you climb up to the upper pool. rental tinnit for today so hopefully they will get us onto the spots although we did just speak to the guys who rented these out he didn't give us much hope um, 
<laughs> she gave us herb and catfish when that's the one here. Ah. <laughs> he actually said the best spot to catch berets will be camped at. Where we were. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna take a cruise on the tinny. We're gonna um have a look up the river. Unfortunately we're a bit restricted to where we go where we can go with this thing. So I'm just gonna have to see. I brought my sounder, so hopefully I can do a bit of scanning at the bottom and get onto any sort of eating fish. Yeah. You know, one thing I would like to see, big crocodile, <laughs> salty one, like six meter length. Yeah, we're definitely in the wrong spot for that one because there's mm. no salties up. So this is Lake Kananara. Ah. Lake Kananara is between Lake Argyle and the Lower Diversion Dam. Below the Diversion Dam is where we camped at, at the uh, Ord River, Lower Ord River. So we can go from uh, Lake Kananara here um, to the spillway, which is where true sort of creeks meet, I think. Mm. Um, it's a decent tinny, I've got to say, and it was uh, only 240 bucks. Put it. Yeah. 240 bucks includes fuel. Um, so that's not a bad deal, I suppose. Something mm. to do before we go out. Yeah, before we leave in this town. Before we leave here, yep. So that's our mission today. We'll just pot around. It's a bit overcast today, but it should clear up in the middle of the day. We'll just load up our esky be on our way. So we're leaving Swim Beach, it's just behind us there, that's um, the swim area of Kananara I suppose. And then we're going to cruise up there. Bulk fish on there. Like we found our first barra. Check it out. Big it's a stonker and a stinker. So trawling. Try to trawl. Anything I'm trawling up is seaweed. Long, skinny, slim seaweed. Trawling, no go. So we're here at the uh, spillway now, which is the intersection of two rivers. Not sure what their name is, but that's as far as they allow us to go with their tinny. So this is the spot where you can catch the barra. Apparently that's what it says on the Kananara website. Uh, this is uh, one of the best spots to catch fish. We had a ponder around here to have a look on the sound that is fish in there, but you want to catch one? I don't know. so far. Yeah, <laughs> first fish, budget's a catch fish. 
And what is it? It's a... A catfish. It's a grunting, grunting catfish. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, that's it. We didn't catch a barra. We caught one catfish and some experience, I suppose. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was a good trip out. There's some good scenery around yeah. here. We had a nice day out on the boat. 250 bucks. It's not the end of the world. Take a cruise along here. You can hire these boats for half day. I think there were... 120? 160? No, 120. Is that 120? 120 bucks for a half day. 240 for a full day makes sense, I suppose. Yeah. And, yeah, so we'll head back home now. Give this baby away and then uh, tomorrow we're off packing up and off to the next site tomorrow we're heading to Catherine yeah 500 kilometers yep. big trip tomorrow yeah. I think it's about 500 kilometers kilometers something about that and that's it for today that's it for today we try to catch the bar on the way back to our hotel so officially barra mission Bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>